hello welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Jo and I have a variety of different videos so I know people have been interested in a little bit of seeing what Melbourne looks like so I had to catch the train um, yesterday and I caught it while it was daylight so this was my train trip in I know it's probably going to be boring but you'll get to see how parts of suburban or the suburbs are very sparse some are heavily populated and dense and then the city is just beautiful and picturesque so I get on at a station called Lapton um, which is in the southwest suburbs of Melbourne and so this is our train journey this was a semi express so it only stopped at certain stations so as you can see here there's not a lot going on this actually if you were to travel to the middle of Australia through Australia one side to the other you would see this a lot but this area has a lot of industrial areas a lot of warehouses there's also shipyards there's also an oil refinery as well in this part you'll also so there's lots of trees There's lots of parks, there's lots of playgrounds, and there's golf courses. There's lots and lots and lots of things to see and do um, in the suburbs of Melbourne. So there's some cars, you know, so now it, here's the, um, the oil refinery, the back of the oil refinery so where all the oil is stored we've just found out that they're going to close that oil refinery which is really sad there's about 400 people going to lose their jobs um, last year the shipyards closed as well and the year before that the toyota car factory closed so this area has had a very hard time as far as job losses are concerned so now we've got some warehouses and some you know storage as I said not really exciting not really really you know an exciting view but the view nonetheless and yet this is all still classed as you know Melbourne as I said it's a suburb of Melbourne I'm gonna see if I can speed this up a bit See if we can make this a bit go a bit faster. Hey houses! Now we're at houses. So now we're in a little bit of a more suburban area. As I said, it's just this one train drive takes you through everything about Melbourne. You would think that we were in the country or in the rural part, but we're not. It's just so beautiful. And if you can hear some funny noises going on, it's the kittens because they want to feature and everything. It 
so remember this is an express so we're going through quite a few stations before we actually stop this was a good train to get so it looks like we're coming up to this looks like this might be Newport station either that or I'm totally wrong <laughs> I'm probably wrong nope that's Newport so as you can see I mean those car parks are packed but there's only 50% capacity at the moment for offices so that in the background is a building that can be uh, leased out for functions they do functions and that there Newport was my local station for many years so it's one of the bigger ones um, has more facilities Newport. and here we go we have stopped at Newport As you can see by all the factories and this area is mainly a um, blue collar area working class um, lots of people you know work really hard and so this area was always known as the blue collar the place you know where all the factories were the warehousings were the shipyards the oil refinery, the car yards, and the western suburbs. So that's changing, of course, because they keep closing them all down. So we've up to another station. Um, and the, the unique thing about Melbourne is that you can be very, very modern but still have that old, ancient. The, you know that heritage feel um, and that's a lot of, of Melbourne um, that that's part of what I love about Melbourne is that you can be in a suburb and you've got something really modern next door to something very historical and they just blend in so well it's a golf course is a golf course Over the river. Hello, trees. Again, you can see some modern houses in there and some little bit more historical stuff. And the sun was out, it was a beautiful sunny day, as you can see, just not a cloud in the sky. The sun was out. And this is lots of graffiti. You know, a bit old. Is this in the middle? Yeah, this is one theater, this is some theater. It's an old style cinema.
So now we're going through Footscray Station where there's a couple of university campuses or Victoria University. Um, this is the main stop for their Footscray campus. Uh, so you can get off there. See, it's got Victoria University, so it's one of the universities. In fact, it's one of the ones in the western suburbs. You've got to go to Geelong, which isn't out of... Uh, which is more like Geelong's class is rural. You, you've got to go there for your, you know, otherwise Geelong. But yeah, Victoria University is the biggest university in the western suburbs, so that's where I go. And this is the, the stop, and this will link you to the majority of the campuses. So they have several campuses in Sunshine, St Albans, Footscray is their main one. They've got two in Footscray, um, and Kindred to the Studios in Yarraville. So Frank Con Cozzo is like a Footscray legend. And then graffiti! So you can start to see the city appearing in the background. I'm just turning the camera to the other side so you can just try to zoom into the city skylight there. So you can see the city just in the background there. I'm sorry, and there's my hand. See, I'm not very good. I'm not very good at this stuff. But you know, it's starting to change. So one side you can see the city really well. The train, as you can see, the trains, they're, they're running lots of trains at the moment, so not to fill them up. And then this is what it's like on the other side. But you'll see the city come through shortly, and you'll see Docklands, and you'll see um, the Melbourne Star, which is like that big Ferris wheel, like they've got the eye. It's funny, I'd seen it, and then since I turned the camera over, it disappeared. So it's there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Nope, 
let's try again. I think we must be nearly approaching the North Melbourne station because it's round about the North Melbourne station. And this station is getting renamed because they're setting up a whole underground. We have an underground system called the City Loop, but they're, they're starting on something called the. Um, they're redoing it with lots of different stations now underground. It's called the Metro Tunnel, I think. There you go, there's the city. Hello, city. I see the lights of Melbourne Town. Hello, Melbourne. How are you? Um, and so the North Melbourne, there's going to be an underground station called North Melbourne, and this one is going to get changed, but I don't know what it's, I can't remember what it's going to get changed to. There's another train. So I've tipped it. Why did I do this upside down I don't know why but there's the star upside down hanging from the roof I don't know why I did that I hope you're not feeling too dizzy Whee! <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed that and that wasn't too boring for you so that was part of my train trip in so after North Melbourne it was a Southern Cross station and then the iconic Flinders Street station. Then I got off and caught a tram to tennis. So I hope you enjoyed that. It wasn't too boring, but that is... Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what Melbourne is really like. See ya.